my channel. So today is Friday and I am off to Ascot races. I know loads of you have been going to a lot of racing events or that kind of like event type thing. So I thought I would film a get ready of me of the outfit that I'm planning to wear and the potential like makeup that I might wear as well. It's all subject to change because I know me and I'm such a last minute person. But yeah, I just thought you guys loved my wedding guest get ready with me so much. I will leave a link to that down below. I didn't include hair in this one just because I feel like I might do something similar tomorrow. So I just straightened it. But I have recently done a kind of prom hair tutorial type thing. The hair would be totally appropriate for this kind of thing. So I will leave a link to that. Too. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this look and love my outfit and if you guys are going to any races or glam events coming up I really hope you find this helpful interact with me in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up If you enjoyed it and you want more get ready with me make sure to hit that subscribe button as well But without further ado watch me get glam and get ready to go to the races Okay, so let's begin. I'm literally just in a dressing gown. My hair is a air dried frizzy mess and not looking great basically but that's all about to change honey all about to change so I've already gone ahead and done my eyebrows and I'll have left the links to what I've used it down below it is my two dip brows from Anastasia Beverly Hills in soft brown and blonde and I like to set it in place recently with the makeup forever brow gel in the shade 25 yeah like I said I'm now just going to go ahead and prime my eyes because we are going to do a winged look so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first this time and I'm just going to use the concealer that I'm going to use on my face and then I'm also going to use this to just kind of sculpt out my eyebrow as well. I literally always love to use my concealer as a primer. I feel like they're so good. And normally while I'm getting ready, I'd 100% play music. But obviously you can't do that on YouTube because of copyright reasons. This girl called Ellie Reynolds suggested that I leave my Spotify playlist down below. So I have done that if you guys are interested in the kind of music that I listen to like while I get ready. And just like in general, if you think that we have the same kind of of music taste. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and just set it in place with powder because I feel like that just makes everything so much easier when you're blending your eyeshadow. I wonder if I'll see any of you guys tomorrow or let me know in the comments down below um, if you already went to like a races or something and like what you guys wore because I always like inspiration for my next have like glam events and stuff, you know? Anyway, moving on to the eyes. I'm getting into an old favorite. This is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Wow, I've used that burnt orange color massively. I am just gonna, yeah, use the burnt orange color on a big fluffy brush and just blend that in to the crease of the initial transition colour. Oh my god, I have to turn my fan off to film and I'm sweating absolute buckets. I'm not even kidding. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But um, also, let me know in the comments down below, I did quite a big clothes order from like Misguided and pretty little thing all for like my holidays that I got coming up because I'm going to Nice with my friends in July and I'm also going to Paris in September I'm doing a lot of French French uh, trips which will be cool and also like a couple of like events and stuff coming up so let me know if you guys would want like a massive holiday clothing and accessories haul because I feel like I have done a bit of shopping recently and I haven't done a clothing haul in absolute ages so yeah let me know in the comments down below I don't want to go too dark on the crease I don't think so I'm just going to take that real girl colour just here my dress as you'll see I would have seen in the intro is like a baby blue so I was like oh god like I don't know what accessories and like how to have my makeup because initially it was this blush pink two piece and I had like some rose gold accessories but then I don't know if you guys have like been to Ascot or, or whatever but it is quite formal and I just kind of felt like I looked like I was going to my local club a little bit like obviously like sophisticated but it wasn't anything like proper formal I'm I'm still not going proper formal but I feel like this outfit change is like a better option. I think it's a bit more sophisticated in something that I, would, I wouldn't wear out. But maybe I'll include it. I'll, maybe I'll do like a clubbing get ready with me and I'll wear that outfit so you guys can see like what maybe I would have worn. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for the crease colors for now. And now we're gonna move on to the lid color. I'm gonna use this pigment from NYX. It's a gorgeous like orangey color. I definitely kind of wanted it to be like an orangey theme because that's obviously what I love doing the most. But also orange is a really complimentary color of blue. And obviously the dress that I'm wearing is blue and also also, I got a scarf that kind of had all these kind of colours on it, so I thought that it will tie in together really nicely. So that worked out well, didn't it? Almost as if I planned it. I literally planned my whole outfit around 
the makeup that I want to wear. Like somehow I'll find a way to make it work. Yeah, I'm just applying the NYX, the NYX Multitasker little base, which is such a good product for pigments. Literally everything just clings to it when you put it on the top. So I'm just placing that on to my lid and then just taking this pigment. I think it was called Shanghai Sun. Oh God, I literally haven't used this in so long and it's, I literally always forget how stunning it is. Such a gorgeous like apricot-y, orangey colour. Yes. Pretty right? Don't tell me no because <laughs> I'm stuck crying. I'm actually kind of scared how drunk I might be tomorrow. I am awful at pacing myself because normally the drinks that I buy are like alcoholic but they just taste so good and then I kind of forget that they're alcoholic and I'm just drinking it like it's juice. And before you know it, I've only been there for like 45 minutes and I'm suddenly like, I'm going banging going home. And when I've got to go, I've actually got to go. Some people can just have like a tactical churn and continue, whereas I just get to the point where I've got to like fall asleep. So, hoping that doesn't happen tomorrow and I do pace myself. So if I don't pace myself, I'm gonna like tweet like a cryptic message. I'll just tweet peaches maybe. And then that's when you know like, oh my God, let's make bets how long I'll be able to last. How long my feet will last is another thing I'm terrified for. Cause probably not very long at all. It literally doesn't even matter what shoes I wear. I always seem to pick the most painful ones. And I'm always having to take my shoes off, so that's classy. I actually might think, I actually think I'm gonna bring like flats with me, like my food bag or something. So I have something to change into because I know me and I'll start crying and it'll ruin everyone. Well, maybe not like literally crying, but I'll just start pissing everyone off because I'll be like, <laughs> I can't go anywhere because my feet hurt. But now I'm just going back in with that real girl color and just diffusing the line between the pigment and like where I'd obviously put that color before. But now I've got it on, I do think I'm gonna deepen it with the dark brown in the palette just because I want like a little bit more depth. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this dark brown here called Cypress Umber. I'm actually gonna mix it with the red ochre as well. You know that like burnt red color that's in there and then just buff that on the outer moist part. This is kind of why I love doing your eyes first because you can literally be as messy as you want. And I know that I'm gonna wipe it away in about three, two, one. Yeah, then just going back in with the fluffy brush and buffing it in. Oh girl, I see you looking my way. Yay, so now, whoa. So now I'm just gonna wipe away the edges, but oh my God, I'm assuming most of you um, watching Love Island, I feel like that's all I talk about. Like literally, I'll, I've been at like so many meetings this week and then we talk business or just whatever. And then suddenly it's like, Oh my God, so have you been watching Love Island? And that's what we end up talking about for the majority of the time. But I was saying, like, I feel like every year, I'm always just like, oh, it will never compare to last year. It won't be the same. I won't get into it. One or two episodes in and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like constantly tweeting about it and feel like really involved. Do you remember they do that episode where there's, oh, by the way, I'm just highlighting my inner corner with Barmia. But do you remember there's that episode where it gets towards the end and then there's like a talent show. And I was just thinking, I was like, oh my God, I wonder what everyone's talents are gonna be like. Obviously, more people are gonna come in and all this kind of stuff, so like people might go. But just like basing on the people that are there now, I was like, Amber's a dancer, isn't she? So she definitely danced. I thought Olivia kind of looked like she could maybe sing. I don't know. Like, or maybe I thought Camilla could sing. And then we joked, because you know Camilla's job is a really fancy, like, dissembling those explosives and stuff. Imagine if it was like a, she's got 30 seconds to, like, dissemble this explosive where it's gonna dip, like, blow up. And it's like a, almost like a magic act, you know what I mean? But when those people get timed to do, like, really dangerous stuff. I had a bit of a giggle at that, because I thought that'd be fucking hilarious. But yay, my high, my highlighter? My inner corner is sufficiently highlighted. I'm now gonna go ahead and do the winged liner with my NYC liquid liner. But I'm gonna skip through this a little bit just because one, I really, really need to put the fan on and just like cool down for a sec. And two, I can never fit it in the, the screen. Like I always just get lower and lower and lower. And you guys know this is a crucial step that everyone needs to take a deep breath and precautions with. So I'm gonna take my time and I'll be right back. Amazing, so I've just gone ahead and done my wing and kind of tried to cool down slightly. So now I'm just gonna apply mascara and falsies. And for that, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. And how amazing are these eyelashes? These are from Eyelure. They're in the style opulent and they're just so winged out and wispy and stuff. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because this is just like stuff you don't need to like see real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you. And I'm just, I'm, you know when you're so excited to put a pair of lashes on because you're like, 
It's really just gonna complete everything for me. So yeah, they're kind of big, but like thin and big. So you're still gonna be able to see Wagwan on the ice. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back again, I promise. Yay, how amazing are these eyelashes? They were literally easiest. The lash band is so thin and so flexible and so easy to apply it, but they're like foaming. So if you've always been scared of like those the minky-ish looking lashes because of the thick lash band. Definitely try these out. I've left them linked down below. Now we are going to move on to the skin. So first things first, I am going to spray my face with Fix Plus to give me a little bit of hydration and kind of cool me down again slightly. And then for moisturise, I was really loving the Charlotte Tilby Magic Cream. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. It's not too oily or doesn't leave too much of like a residue. So I've been really liking this underneath my makeup. I mean... If you've applied Fix Plus, you don't necessarily need a moisturiser, but I just find it almost adds a little bit of smoothness to my face, you know? Oh, God, is my makeup even going to stay on in this heat? Like, for real, girl, I've got sweat coming from every crevice. For primer, I'm going to take the Nivea Post Shave Balm. This literally it never lets me down as a primer, and it is so good. It, like, literally, my makeup clings whenever I wear this, and it feels really, like, cooling on my skin as well. I'm using a lot of products that I feel like are going to keep me fresh and hydrated, but I just like to apply it with a brush, you guys. No, it's going to blend that all the way around, honey. Okay, once we have primed our skin, I'm going to go ahead and do a foundation offs. And um, I've been really reaching for my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk again, literally like, I haven't used it for ages because I've been trying and testing out so many different ones, but this one just literally it never lets me down for events. I feel like it looks so good in pictures and it's not too a full coverage. I'd say it's more of like a medium to a buildable coverage. I mean, yeah, you could definitely build this up to be a full coverage one, but yeah, I literally hadn't used it in so long. And then literally like last week I was like, you know what, I really miss it. And I keep seeing pictures of like people using it on Instagram and their skin is just always flawless. I mean, I'm sure a little bit of face tuning helped a little bit, but this honestly is such a gorgeous foundation. I always, always, always rave about it. Sorry guys, just having a fan and hair up moment. I don't want me to like get to the end of this tutorial and it's almost like I've done a 360 and my makeup's basically all off, so bear with. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape. This one's in the colour Light Neutral. If you've still not tried Shape Tape, you've got to, like, girl, where the hell have you been? Because this is the concealer of life. And I kind of wanted, like, a bright under. I do feel like that does look better in pictures, personally for me anyway, because I like to cream contour and all that jazz. So this one is going to help brighten up underneath. Literally, it's like airbrushed under there now. I always feel when I apply that concealer it just looks so good and it never creases and I freaking love it. Moving on I'm taking a new product. This is from Rimmel. It is their duo contour stick in the shade light. I feel like these look like a little bit of a dupe for the thing that Kim Kardashian's come out with and if I had got Kim Kardashian's ones which I didn't I should have done a comparison video that would have been really cool. I'm just gonna apply this all around. And then on my chinny chin, ooh, chin. And then I'm just gonna take a duo fiber brush and buff that in as well. I feel like these blend really, really easy. They're so cool. So if you didn't get the Kim ones like me, but you're like in the market for something like that, defo check these out. They did a good few colors as well. So hopefully you should be able to find one that best suits you. Oh my God, I feel like I'm just like blended away my like foundation into my sweat i'm not even kidding but recently i have had a lot of meetings with like drugstore brands and stuff so i've got so much stuff that i could test out if you guys wanted another video of like the full face of first impressions like let me know but i'm also just taking the like light side and just going underneath that contour and i'm just going to use my foundation brush to blend that in and just use that to just sharpen it up a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, now that is all the cream products that I'm gonna be putting on my face. So I'm now just gonna go, and go ahead and set that with powder and I'm gonna put the fan on for this again. I'm really sorry, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the fan on while I do this because I've got like sweat and like I don't wanna put powder on top of the sweat. So I just need to cool, then I'll powder and then I'll come back. Amazing, so we are sufficiently all mattified and we'll see how long that lasts. But now I'm gonna go ahead and apply bronzer and for that I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because it smells like chocolate and I need some. So I'm just gonna... Holy crap. Quick, buff it up, 
buff it out before someone says I'm an Oompa Loompa. I feel like we've made it work. I'm now gonna apply, you guys know, like this is my favorite product. MAC Global Glow is just one of those like products that I wear every day like on my skin. I just, it barely adds any color, just the tiniest little bit of a warm bronze, but it's like gives you that J-Lo skin and I literally bathe in it. Well, I wish I could. Literally. And then for blusher, I'm gonna take the MAC Just A Pinch Extra Dimension Blusher. Again, it's such a gorgeous, like, rosy gold, EPG kind of color. And has such a gorgeous shine. The whole Extra Dimension range literally does. And speaking of which, I'm gonna take the infamous MAC O oh Darling Extra Dimension Highlighter. This is what I think Anne Reese uses all the time. And honestly, her highlights, like, goals. So, I'll go. We wanna be the same, yeah. I haven't used this in ages either, and I forget how much I love this as well. God, Rachel. But yeah, like I said, today's a day to use all of the products that make you feel fancy as hell, glam as hell, and just snatched. I don't really need to highlight my Keep It Spade, to be honest, because I've got that natural glow going on called Asula. So... We'll just add to it, shall we? Okay. So that is the kind of skin bit done. I'm now gonna go back and finish the like lower part of the eyes. And I'm gonna use my one of my favorite pencils to put in my waterline. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Sunset. It's just such a gorgeous like orangey, bronzy gold. And it's, but it's not too dark. I'll do like a little close up when the eyes are completely finished. But honestly, one of my favorite things. If you've got, if you like something in your waterline but not too dark or such like me, don't want them to look too shut and kind of really complement your eye color, that one's absolutely stunning. But now I'm just going to dip my pencil brush into the burnt orange colour from the Modern Renaissance palette. So basically the lightest one that we used because I didn't want it to be, like I said, too dark on the eyes. So I'm just going to use that to buff in pretty much the pencil and connect everything together. And then I can just apply a bottom lash mascara and we are done on the eyes. So this is a close up of the eyes. I love this. I literally haven't done a wing in so long. So I'm really like loving the orange burnt warm tones. I feel like it totally complements my eye color. So now let's move on to the lips. Now a lip combination I've been loving at the moment is this one and I am gonna go for a nude just because I'm gonna be drinking throughout the day tomorrow and they're like the easiest colors to top up and they complement this kind of eye look. So I'm using the, um, this is from New Look, it's their lip liner. I think it's called like Nude Pink or something. But I got, I think they've totally redone their packaging now, so I'll leave it linked down below. But I've been really loving the look of like a almost velvety satin lip and the NARS Velvet, what are these called? Velvet Glide in Stripped is the most stunning nude and it's so easy to reapply, so comfortable to wear throughout the day as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Because it's not a liquid lipstick, you do have to work a little bit harder to like blend out the lip liner. So definitely make sure you're feathering it in because you don't want to look like old school. Might even go back in with the pencil and just... And then I am just going to highlight my cupid's bow again because I feel like I've lost it. Come back. There you are. Amazing. So this is like the finished makeup look that I've gone for. I am just going to use a chill setting spray to make sure we are locked all in place. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is my hair, but realistically, I've literally just done a couple of hair tutorials, and one of them would be perfect for this. I, have, I haven't actually 100% decided what I wanna do with my hair, but I think for now, I'm just gonna really quickly straighten it, so you don't necessarily need a tutorial to see how I straighten my hair, but then I will show you the completed kind of hair and makeup, and then I'll move on to the outfit, which I'm so excited for you guys to see. So this is with my hair straightened, and obviously I just have to like, Get, make sure everything is like sealed and locked in place and obviously I use my, my that shockwaves hairspray is like the best stuff ever but yeah this is my finished hair and makeup all together so you can see quite sophisticated I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my hair tomorrow I might have it up might have it down but I always feel like safe with it's down it's like a little security blanket isn't it so I'm now gonna go ahead and put on my outfit and show you guys so this is the completed outfit I feel like it is glam still but sophisticated I have left links to everything as well as all the makeup details down below but I'm sure I'll be posting out of the days on the day so make sure you're following me on Instagram so this is the finished makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button for more of these kind of videos and if you're new obviously I'd love to see you in the next video definitely to make sure to give it a thumbs up as well and just leave me your feedback in the comment section down below but yes thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys